I did one of the worst things you could possibly do, which is ask Twitter for advice. I was looking for people's thoughts on how to keep coding fun. I love coding. I have a big passion for coding. I, it's, it's so fun. It's just puzzles all the time. And I'm so fortunate that I get to do that as my job. All right, I'm not taking that for granted, but like any good thing, some days it sucks. Some days I'm banging my head against the wall and I'm dealing with the same problem that I can't figure out what the solution is and I feel really put down by coding. And it's it's not because it's inherently you know bad, but it's a difficult thing to do. It's a hard skill to have. So it makes sense that sometimes you're feeling a bit down about it and you wanna make it fun again. You wanna feel that passion, that excitement for it. I wanna jump into some of the responses. I was pretty shocked. There was actually some seeds of wisdom on x.com and I was not expecting that, but what can I say? Just foster such a high quality community around here, okay? <laughs> One thing that hits home for me was somebody was saying, don't be so serious. Don't take it so seriously. Keep play alive. There were multiple people that were either saying, make sure that you're having fun, that you're playing. Don't always just do what's best for the future, what's best for your job. Just learn things that you think are cool. You maybe even put like different Easter eggs in your code or in the final outcome of your project and find ways to just kind of be playful along the way. And that takes off a lot of the pressure. We also got a few people saying like, don't do it professionally. <laughs> How to keep the passion alive don't do it professionally. It's definitely not the first time that I've heard that when something becomes a job, it takes the fun out of it. I've experienced this with various hobbies. I would agree with that. I do think it takes a certain amount of pre-existing interest and passion to do it professionally and not feel that way, right? But of course, you're still gonna have those days. We all do. Okay, some of the worst responses that I got on there were like, just have fun or like, I like to code, so it's always fun. Or there are no tricks. If you don't enjoy it, then you should be in a different career. Bro, what do you mean? Are you telling me you have like one bad day with your girlfriend and she's out? Like, huh? What do you mean? You can love something to death and still on some days just be like, you know what? Not today. Although some of these comments did come with some other helpful things <laughs> attached, all right? like. If you're feeling demotivated, try having a faster feedback loop. So maybe work on something where the result is gonna happen a lot quicker than maybe something that you're, that's just feels like it's kind of drudging along. Is drudging a word? I don't know, but I feel like I've definitely heard it used more than once, okay? Another point that I've personally felt as well is figure out a niche, something that of interest to you, and just get really good at that. Just specialize in that. You don't have to be a jack of all trades. It's okay to be a master of one. Being able to feel yourself go from, I don't know much about this thing to being able to churn out high quality code and feel valuable in this niche, that's gonna keep you having a really positive outlook and make you feel really good. I highly recommend that to anyone who's looking to get good at anything. I feel like when you become a master at something once, it elevates your confidence because you know that you've done it once with some things and you know the journey that it takes to gain mastery. So you have the confidence to know that you can get there again in some other interest of yours. Kind of going back to not taking things so seriously, don't strive for perfection, strive for growth. Just try to give yourself a little pat on the back for all the little things that you do well, all of the ways that you've grown. This is part of where I love writing everything down. To me, I'm able to look back on how I was solving problems even six months ago and see how much more I've improved. Even if it's a project that I've just finished, I'm able to look back on how I went about it and figure out ways that I could improve. It's so satisfying to see the growth, but even similar to fitness, often if you have a personal trainer, they'll recommend that you take progress photos because you can become so used to where you're at that you forget where you started. And that's something that really holds true no matter what you're doing. And especially with something like coding, it's easy to take for granted how much effort it took to get to where you are today. Make sure that you continue to appreciate that about yourself. And if there are ways that you can make that more clear, do it, right? Even look at your old code and be like, wow, what a pile of sh I do that every once in a while. And then I'm like, yeah, that's why that project never got finished. I can't bear to look at the code anymore. Another thing that I thought was pretty wise was giving yourself little rewards along the way. Of course, the outcomes of the code itself can be rewarding, but if you're working on maybe a more long-term project or something that's not super satisfying, then even giving yourself little rewards, like taking yourself out for dinner, taking yourself out for drinks, letting yourself uh, have a little treat while you're working on this really difficult task, like 
those little things really make a difference in how you feel overall about the activity and just boosting your mood in general so that you can continue to work hard and get closer to where you want to be. Another point that I thought was pretty wise and it was kind of nice to hear from someone that's not me because I do very firmly believe this. Don't do it when it's not fun. This also kind of plays into the people who are like, don't do it as a job. Obviously, if you're doing it professionally, you're going to have to push past that on some days, right? But I do really like the idea of if something really doesn't feel good on a certain day, it's often better to just rest or do a much smaller contribution that day than you would hope for and actually you just give yourself time to be away from that thing. The next day, you'll probably feel a lot more eager to do that thing again. Give yourself some breathing room and then let it come back to you, right? Let the heart grow fonder. There were multiple people also saying like, it's okay to just do it recreationally. You don't have to have it be your job. Honestly, I do find having a really strong background with computing and technology translates to so many different jobs. Do you know how many lives would be made better by having a technically competent manager? Like someone who actually understands what it takes to get these features out or whatever. You don't need to just be a developer. It is something that you can totally just do for fun. Okay, a couple that I thought were really funny. An unrelenting stream of shit posts. Dude, I don't know what else I was expecting from x.com, all right? Those were the posts I was expecting, not these like wholesome, actually good advice posts. There's also a lot of people that were just mentioning like, build something that you're excited about, build something that you would actually use. And as I mentioned before, it's okay to also just learn things for fun, whether it's a new language or a new niche that you want to explore or a certain project that's open source that you're really into and you want to figure out how to contribute to it. Fork it, make your own version of it. It's the beauty. That's the beauty of open source, okay? Another great piece of advice is factor in your environment. So if you're coding and you're having a bit of a, a tough day, it's okay to leverage your environment to make yourself feel better and keep propelling you forward. That can be through listening to some of your favorite music, having a bit more of an upbeat, kick-ass playlist, listening to maybe like a funny podcast or your favorite kind of podcaster or YouTuber or something. Just have some something in the background that's, you know, contributing to some stimulation over there, getting some dopamine going when you're really grinding. There are so many ways that you can improve your outputs as a developer without just fixing a bug or creating a new feature or whatever else. So like if you're having a day where those things seem really, really difficult for you, you can still improve the code base that you're working on. You can look at documentation. Maybe there's things that you could, that could be improved examples that could be refined or updated, even tests. Maybe there's room to improve the test coverage or even like pairing with one of your coworkers or friends or something. Maybe that'll be a bit of a boost to just get the ball rolling, get yourself some momentum, have it be a really positive experience or just something really easy and light that you can do while you're, while you've got your favorite show on in the background. It doesn't always have to be like 10X developer all the time, every day, blah, 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 you know, like just chill out, chill out, have fun with it. Don't take it so seriously. Okay, that's the video for today. I thought it was kind of funny seeing how all of these developers keep coding fun and we all have those days, okay? It doesn't make you a bad developer. Let me know what you think. What do you do to keep coding fun? I'll see you in the next video. Bye.